for the sign of Pisces hello and welcome to my channel recent pass there are the two cards to the very far left side of the screen then we'll talk about the present time how your person is seeing you how you see them and why this is all happening so Pisces in the recent past we have anticipation on the flip side of anticipation it reads expect the best the world is working in your favor and anticipation it's paired with give your relationship a chance work on your partnership so for the in the recent past um, these two cards are basically saying that there could have been some difficulties in a relationship that you were in and that you needed to give this connection more time or give it another chance that's what this this is what this is saying these two oracles um, and expect the best be more optimistic about the connection or uh, where it was heading it says because the world is working in your favor it was working in your favor maybe you knew it at the time and maybe you didn't know it and you were ready to throw up your hands but with these two cards it's saying expect the best and give the relationship time give it chance so that's what i have for you today for the recent past that's what you did pisces or that's probably what a lot of you pisces should have done in the recent past so let's move on over let's take a look at the present time we have Ten of Pentacles, and it's paired with this Four of Cups. Okay, so the Ten of Pentacles, it's showing that um, you're going to have a lot to be thankful for. Your relationships, your money is going to look good, your health is going to be looking good. Uh, for a lot of you Pisces, things will be going really well. Uh, you might want to consider how you got to such a happy situation make the best of it and you might want to make sure or try to share what you have even if it's a kind word spoken to someone in need because we all know we get back what we give out and when things are going so good for you why not just maybe if you, maybe if you just give a kind word to someone uh, who you feels who you feel like needs it um, when this Ten of Pentacles talks about love and relationships, it's a very, very happy indicator when it comes to love. If you're already in a relationship, this card, it means that it's going to move to the next level. You two could talk about living together, engagement, marriage, childbirth. All these things, it's an indicator of this Ten of Pentacles. For some time, you probably have a very peaceful, happy period in your love life. So make sure you enjoy that time and make sure that your partner knows how much they mean to you. And if there's some single Pisces out there listening, if you're not in a relationship, this card can mean that a new love could come into your life so fast that it can make your head spin. So make sure you're open. Make sure to be open. That's if you want it. Or if you're looking for it. Now this Ten of Pentacles, it's paired with the Four of Cups. Now, uh, if you can see this picture, this man is on the ground and he's doing a lot of wishful thinking. Well, actually that's all he's doing is wishful thinking. Not just a lot, but that's the only thing he's doing. Wishful thinking. He's wasting his life away. Uh, this card, it reminds us to remember, you have to pay attention to what is now. And count your many blessings. And make sure you're not worried or worrying too much about what could be or what could have been. Because it's really easy to overlook what we already have in pursuit of what we don't have. And that's what he's doing. 
his hand is bleeding and he's more focused on um, what he wish he had or or what could could have been instead of focusing on something more important like losing blood and that's what he's doing right now but he's stuck he's stuck in his head and then he's not realizing that it's more important to count his blessings okay so it's also about um this card is about like i said not spending too much time in self-pity or like i said wishing your life away which is what he's doing because a lot of life it has to do with where we put our focus so try to put your focus on things and people in your life that you have a lot to be thankful for so when the four of cups talks about love and relationships you might want to take a look at yourself to see whether you're being realistic with, with regards to love so just ask yourself certain questions that maybe you've been thinking about and talk to your partner about it now for the present time we have the ten of pentacles and the four of cups ten of pentacles is a, like i said it's it's a great card in the tarot you're going to have a lot to be thankful for money health relationships they'll all be going well for you your relationship if you're in one it could move to the next level you know and um, so on the other hand you've got something that's causing you to be kind of paralyzed just thinking you constantly thinking and overthinking that um, you wish things were different there's something that's got you bogged down and it's making you not realizing that you're you're blessed you're actually blessed but you're more focused on some maybe some unhappy situation or something that happened in the past that you can't get off your mind so it's tearing away from the joy that you get with the ten of pentacles so you might want to just try get up every morning thank god for at least three things three things that should be easy to do get up every every morning thank god for three things then you realize that you're you're actually truly blessed you're really blessed so try that maybe that will help you if this is you pisces who's who's just paralyzed by something and you can't stop overthinking about what could have been or what you should have done or just if you feel like you're just wishing too much about what something uh, should have should have been or what you wish would have happened woulda coulda shoulda you know what I'm saying yeah so try that thing maybe that would help if this is you Pisces because I'm picking up a lot of you are doing this and you've got this great time that's coming this ten of Pentacles and um, you could you could ruin it actually if you choose to just sit there and focus on what you don't have so keep that in mind take that as a warning you could miss out on something really great coming up for you yeah being stuck in your head like that so let's move on over let's take a look at the person that you're dealing with how they see you now they see you as justice and ten of cups now to explain justice it's about um, karma the law of cause and effect but with karma it's important to remember that not everything you're dealing with is a result of your own actions or karma sometimes we're called upon to deal with the results of the actions of someone we care about or even someone from the from a, maybe a relative that's gone that's no longer with us uh, family 
that you never knew before. You do, we do, we deal with karma from people that we don't even know but are related to us. So uh, make sure you don't blame yourself unnecessarily uh, when you get this justice card in a reading. Also, if you are directly involved in a court case, it, it's going to be resolved at least in a large degree in your favor. So I just wanted to explain justice to you. And that's pretty much what it is. Uh, karma is when, also karma is when uh, things come back to you that you put out to the universe or you put out to people. It comes back to you. If you put out good or bad, it's coming back to you now. That's what karma is. And it usually comes back three times or ten times as big. It just depends. So when Justice talks about love and relationships, if you're questioning whether you or your you and your partner are likely to stay together, often, but not always, but usually when you get this card, the answer is that you'll choose to go your separate ways. On the other hand, if you're single, it's a time when a committed relationship could be coming in. But you have to stay really clear about what you want most out of a relationship. And you're likely to find it that much sooner. So, uh, this is how your person is seeing you. They see you as justice. They see you as... Um, Sometimes they see you, they could see you as thinking that you had the right to do so. That's an example. Whatever it is, they, they think that, they see you as thinking that um, you have the right. You know, you found, you, maybe you found out something that brought some truth and clarity to you about them or this connection so they see you as thinking that you have the right to do whatever because you found out what you needed to know <laughs> that's how they're seeing you Pisces they also see you as this ten of cups now the ten of cups when it talks about love and relationships if you're worrying about a romantic relationship it's a clear indicator that you really don't have anything to worry about. You and your person, you're on the same page and you probably don't even know it. And if you're in a relationship and it's not formal, it's not a commitment yet, and you hope that it comes to pass, take heart, it's coming with the Ten of Cups. Don't sabotage things by causing problems where there really aren't any. And this is how they also see you, this Ten of Cups. Um, the Ten of Cups is one of the most uplifting cards to receive. They're very happy. Well, they see you as happiness. They see you as a dream come true. Okay, so the Ten of Cups is the tops. It's not a Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is short of one cup. The Ten of Cups is everything. So, they see you as... Um, like I said, a dream come true. But they also see you dealing with something that happened in the relationship. And you might, some days you might think you have the right to do whatever you want to do because you found out something or you want to get justice on something that happened in the past in this relationship or just something that bothered you. So... But they see you as um, a dream come true. Uh, they see you as um, a wish fulfillment. The Ten of Cups is beautiful. But this karma thing, you might want to um, check that because it could be bothering them when you start to feel like you have the right to pay them back or something like that or to write the right to get back at them. 
because um, you're doing it out of justice, feeling you're justified in doing so. So usually when people do that, it's a way of punishing their person because they're getting back at them. You know, you got the right. It's justified because you did this, now I'm doing that. So, but they see you as, like I said, a dream come true. Now let's take a look at how you see them. You see them as a chariot and the chariot is paired with the page of swords. So the chariot brings a lot of energy. It's not a free for all energy, it's not free for all. It's directed, it's controlled, and it has a goal in mind. Uh, you're really clear, you're well, fairly clear on what your hopes and dreams involved and what you're willing to do to make them come true. Very determined, very ambitious. The chariot is about getting things done, testing and proving that you've got what it takes. It's a sign that you should. You should move forward with whatever you have in mind and in your heart and give it your best shot. Remember, you're going to have to use both, your intellect and your heart, in order to truly be successful when you get the chariot. Now, the chariot, when it talks about love and relationships, it's possible that you could be tempted to go too far, too fast, and or someone could be pressuring you that way. Either way, make sure you communicate as best as you can about your boundaries and preferences and be honest with yourself and the possibilities. If you're not interested in a relationship with someone who you know wants one with you, the kindest thing you could possibly do is to let them know that you're not interested. Because the short-term anger or hurt or frustration that this can cause, it's going to benefit everyone in the long run. Just put it out there. Not interested. Don't lead them on. That explains the chariot, and that also explains how you see your person. You see them as, um, they, they're, they have a, um, they have a plan. You see them as wanting to go forward with a lot of energy in this connection. And you see them as wanting to move forward in their heart and in their their mind and in their heart. So you, you see them as possibly having a plan and they're determined about, about you and this connection. Now... This is how you see them, but you also see them as this Page of Swords. Page of Swords, Swords is about mild conflict. When you get this card, you're going to have to know when to push and when to back off because many fights and discussions, they're actually not worth having as long as your partner is treating you as, an, as long as they're treating you with respect. So allow your person to have his or her own space. Trust is crucial for happiness. Well, yeah, so space means you're giving them, space means that you might trust them. So if you give them space, it's crucial for happiness because it's saying that you trust them, something like that. And if you're unattached, you might want to get out there and socialize because we all know love doesn't just drop out of the sky. Now that's a little tip for single Pisces out there. But this is also how you're seeing your person. You see them as this page of swords and the chariot. So there's some conflict there. There's some conflict. They might be saying some things to you sometimes that you don't appreciate. Yeah. Because this page of swords is about messages coming in that you just don't want to hear. So they might have, you see them as sometimes just saying things that they didn't think about. You think that they should think about what they say before they say it because it's causing conflict in this connection. And um, there's some fights. So that's how you see them. You see them as needing to watch their mouth 
watch the words that they speak because it's causing problems and because of the chariot is here um, they're probably trying to go too far they go too far and, and too fast with some of their um, their words yeah they're going too too yeah too far and too fast sometimes they just go over overboard with what they say and sometimes it could feel like they're pushing you too fast or stepping on your toes and it's causing conflict but they do want to come in they want to keep coming in and um, it seems like they're determined about this connection or even determined about maybe pushing your buttons because the page of us page of swords is um just trying too hard and too fast so they could be trying to you see them as trying to possibly make you uh, upset a lot of times but um there's a determined energy here and like I said, I'm not sure if it's because they're determined for a good reason or for a bad reason. Because I'm thinking more bad because you got this page of swords here. And it's, it's indicating that something's coming that you don't want to hear. Some type of message. So, yeah. So, and the chariot is about movement. Fast action. Going too far too fast. So something, something your person is doing that really annoys you. Yeah. It really annoys you. They, they just, it feels like they're stepping on your toes. And that's how you see them. Okay, so let's take a look at why this is all happening. It's due to the Queen of Cups and the Tower. Now to explain the Queen of Cups, it's about a woman who's very helpful, bringing love, compassion to a relationship, to work. Um, things are better with the Queen of Cups in your life. Much better than um, you think or realizing. The Queen of Cups, when it's about love and relationships, there's a very positive outlook about a relationship. Very positive. Uh, Queen of Cups is a very nurturing person or energy. Very healing and supportive. So this um, Queen of Cups is paired with the Tower card. The Tower card, it can be but not necessarily an indicator of a relationship that's about to end and if you are in a relationship that you absolutely positively do not want to see in this is an important time Pisces for damage control and clear communication you're gonna have to find out where your partner's head is find out how they're feeling and doing you have to do a lot of talking pull them over to the side and we need to talk don't make assumptions find out for sure and this is why it's all happening queen of cups in the tower um, you or your person is very nurturing healing and supportive of this connection very loving and compassionate Or this relationship or connection can feel that way a lot of times. Very healing and nurturing. It can feel that way, but some things are going on in this connection that sometimes make you feel like you want to just walk away with the tower card here. Um, so, like I said, the tower card is about... A relationship, a relationship that could possibly be about to come to an end. You know, 
like I said, but just you, you would have to do damage control. That's going to be very important. But this connection, this relationship, it's causing for, there's a cause for, there's a need for you or your person, I'm picking up, to be more nurturing, to be more like this Queen of Cups. Yeah, because there's a need here for some nurturing for some reason. Uh, it could be because we talked about someone feels like they're getting their toes stepped on sometimes. Harsh words are there. And then you got um, how they see you as always feeling like you're justified to say what you just said because they did what they just did so there's a little bit of back and forth there um, you did this tit for tat well that's what they call it there's some tit for tat going on here and then um, yeah and then someone needs to count their blessings also and stop wishing that some things were different so it, it's called the tower moment and now there's some nurturing, loving, healing support that needs to be brought back into this connection, brought back into this relationship so it can survive. It's called doing damage control. So that's something very strong that needs to happen. Some loving energy needs to be put back into this connection. Something healing. Someone needs to feel supported in some kind of way. And that's why it's all happening, Pisces. So I hope you enjoyed this reading. Hope you enjoyed this reading. Hope you enjoyed this reading. Hope you enjoyed this reading.